Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Last week, I put out my list of the top 5 best Moto Origins figures that were personal favourites of mine in 2022. The ones that really rocked my universe. But I did say that there was going to be more, and there is. So today, I'm checking out 5 of the honourable mentions. Origins figures from last year that I really liked, but for certain reasons, did not make the final list, but came close. At number 5. It's the Rulers of the Sun Pighead figure. Always a fan of strange creature hybrid figures and I have to say, I was really impressed with the execution of this figure. Being that I never even heard of the character before this. Now you have to admit that a big monster hybrid human-like creature was pretty original for the time in the 1980s when he was originally created. I do like his weapons, I do like the overall look, but I do wish that they had made the details on his face stand out a little bit more because it just looks a bit muted and could have benefited from a darker paint application or just more paint right look it's a cool figure somehow i think it didn't make the list because it's not really you know to me an authentic masters of the universe figure even though it's been crossed over into the origins line it's still from a rulers of the sun brand which is kind of like a knockoff of motu back in the day probably what will really help his case for legitimacy is a really powerful storyline maybe like a five issue mini comic series that really bridges the gap between rulers of the sun and masters of the universe not something that's just shoehorned in like a couple of pages of a mini comic you know you're just supposed to like go along with it i mean something like really establishing for the character that really draws out his personality i want to see something like that what about you guys wait what's that you don't care okay on to number four and it's the mini comic trap jaw i did mention in my review of the figure that i personally considered this to be the best mini comic interpretation of a masters of the universe figure so far they've done a bunch of these so-called uh, mini comic translations there's more to come okay roboto is coming up soon in uh, wave 12 i believe but uh this one so far is the best of the batch i think that the translation here while not completely perfect is pretty much solid okay they pretty much were able to actually capture most of the important details of what made this a mini comic version of trap jaw and for a time there this was like the only other version of trap jaw that was out there because the wave 2 version of him was like so hard to find and then it turned out that there was a re-release of that figure recently as part of a 40th anniversary cutback batch so uh, that figure has been out there i'm not sure how easy it is to score him but for those of you that couldn't land him you know this version of him is a really solid release to own and also i did a video on the channel a while back also showing you how with all the additional parts of trap jaw you now have from the wave 2 figure plus the cronies figure and this one right here you could build something that looks like an ultimate trap jaw go check out that video it's on the channel and you know what this figure didn't make the list because well technically he's a re-release okay he's a figure that came out way before uh, even though his new colors and stuff like that, you know, everything else about him is practically about the same, except for the fact that they gave him like a fist hand here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, there's like a, a fist hand here when it should have been like an open grip hand. Okay, but uh, yeah, I mean, everything else about him is practically the same. So that's why he didn't make the list, but he's a solid figure nonetheless. Do pick him up if you get the chance. Okay, at number 3, I'm putting both of these guys together, the 2002 versions of He-Man and Skeletor. And you know what? Both of these guys are fantastic offerings in their own right. There are drawbacks to these figures, but there's a level of quality there, alright, that makes them deserving of being on a list somewhere. So here they are. The 2002 He-Man version, well, I talked about him also in my review of the worst accessory of the year, which was his shield made of such absolutely poor quality but overall the rest of him comes with some really amazing stuff he's got an all new harness all new axe shield you know basically the loin cord area has been worked out as well and they also included details like this tiny little pouch on the back of his shorts there check this out so there is a level of detail here that's definitely respectable my only real gripe is the fact that they just reused the same old he-man head sculpt the vintage head sculpt that's been around since a year and a half before that look <laughs> it is supposed to be a much younger version of he-man even say so in the card back that adam accepted the mantle of he-man at the age of 16 all right that's how he was depicted in the cartoon show all right he was a lot younger trendier but this version of him doesn't look 16 he looks 46 okay then we get down to skeletor now skeletor here doesn't really look like the 2002 figure design of him um he looks like a different version of skeletor definitely but there's a lot here that homages 
that 2002 figure design all right the weapons are there well at least just the power sword okay they kind of like just recycle the havoc stuff so that sucks now when it comes to the face cup i think that's the source of the most criticism because a lot of people said that he looked a little bit too simian all right but i do see you know old bonehead in there as well and let's face it okay i mean he's a skeleton face guy okay he's never going to be confused for bradley cooper or someone like that so you know i mean i do still see traces of skeletor in there a pretty mean looking skeletor still and i think that uh this particular figure is just a huge upgrade over the wave one skeletor and just in every department all right the armor the skin tone you know definitely even the quality of the weapons right definitely a huge upgrade and also he's great for customization all right so if you pop on the cape that came with Keldor onto this Skeletor figure he actually looks so much better all right and since I was able to land this figure at the time for a world first debut review on YouTube I was also able to showcase the look of him with the cape on for the first time ever on my Instagram account it got a great reaction from the community that's how I know the caped look really works for him by the way, if you guys are on Instagram, do follow me there as well for updates. Uh, if you're not, just forget anything I said. Either way, this figure is pretty good. Like I said, deserving of a slot here in my honorable mentions list. I think that the biggest issue that I have is that there's less of an effort here to replicate his 2002 version. Less of an effort compared to what we saw with He-Man. Especially with the weak looking Havoc stuff here, which is just recycled from all the previous versions of Skeletor. They could have given us a Havoc stuff that was more closely aligned with the 2002 version, but they didn't. Other than that, he's a pretty solid pickup. If you don't have him in your collection and you do come across him, you might want to consider giving him a chance. And number two, we have the Moto Origins Grizzlaw action figure. Now, this is the Metal Creations exclusive version of the figure. I'm not going to get too much into talking about him in this video because I already covered him in a full review a couple of days ago. Go check out that video if you need to. Now, this particular figure is the absolute best version of Grizzlaw to date for this particular scale. He's way better than anything from the 80s. Everything from the sculpting to the articulation to the application of the fur. This figure is just fantastic. The only reason why he's not in the main top 5 list is because, well, technically he's a re issue okay because he came out previously as part of the hot four pack as the dark grizzlaw in 2021 but still if you got him off metal creations you get an all new cool single blister carded pack with brand new artwork plus an exclusive comic book which has one of the better mini comic stories to date if you already have the dark grizzlaw figure this figure is an excellent case for a double purchase that's number two so what's at number one guys at number one and you may have guessed this from the thumbnail already it is stridor the mechanical war horse now look this stride off figure is just a case of them going all out beyond anything that we could have even imagined all right it's like you take the classic stride off figure from the 80s that thing was just a block of plastic i think it only had a movable tail the lasers on the sides could pivot up and down that's about it okay i had that at one point and you know i was just wondering to myself what the hell am i supposed to do with this thing of course at that point i was viewing it as an adult collector but kids back in the 80s just took that damn thing and maybe just crashed it okay headlong to the other figures probably that's how they played with it but you know what that thing had zero articulation for the most part and this one right here the modern one man they just took it to the next level and then the level above that Okay, because this one has got so much articulation, so much more added detail. It's just way bigger. I mean, we're used to Origins vehicles being supersized, okay? But this one's just huge, right? And then in terms of the accessories, man, they just went to town on this thing. Starting up with this base right here, okay? This awesomely detailed base for Stridor to chill out on. And also, you know, for him to actually be positioned, okay, in like a jumping position if you want him to. It can also be connected to Castle Grayskull. You know, that's just a whole bunch of stuff you can do with just this little base here. And then he also comes with the reins, something that the original never did, okay. But there's reins here for character Fisto or He-Man to hold on to him. You also get this set of plasma effect blasters. These are translucent. These are pretty silly, okay. Honestly, for me, uh, I don't really need this in the set. But they gave it to us anyway. So let's just take it, okay. And then you also get an interchangeable battle helmet. Come on, guys. This thing is just the ultimate upgrade. Okay, there's just so much more add-ons to this thing compared to all of the other upgrades that we got, you know, with the land shark, the wind raider, the roton. 
this one beats it all okay why isn't it in the main list okay well probably because it's something of a i don't know like a vehicle okay or like a creature figure sort of and it isn't really a figure my list was actually made up of mainly just figure type characters but still strider deserves his place somewhere and it's right here taking the top spot on my list of honorable mentions for the best moto origins figures of 2022 okay guys so that's the video drop your comments below Okay, do you have any honorable mentions of yourself? Okay, list of figures that perhaps didn't make your top 5 or top 10, but were there somewhere, alright? Let me know in the comments section. Let me know what you think of all the figures in this selection, and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Thank you. Take care out there.